You need to cross this line before that clock hits zero. That is the goal here today. Well, this morning uh, we're out at a, a really fun event. This is the psychoactive last man standing race put on by human powered movement. The goal is really to be the last person standing. The time decreases and the pace increases each five mile segment. So on today's adventure, we have Sean. And if you remember Sean uh, in a video a while back, he helped me uh, Climb the Mount Everest. Uh, Sean, which is over there in the shadows, uh, he came out, he drove all this way to do the last three up and down with me. But his rival came out today. Okay, this guy right here. <laughs> These two guys just go battling back and forth in crazy adventures. And he's training for a, a, a triathlon. And so he had to do a long run, so he decides to, to come out to this shenanigan. So uh, this should be fun. Once again, thank you guys so much for coming out. We got 10 seconds here, people. Later, skater. Yeehoo! <laughs> they said there was a 15 foot climb yeah, on the course. And that's literally just a ramp. So, this is our inaugural. An inaugural? Inaug first, this is our first lap. Everybody's just trying to get their bearings, the terrain on the course. Hey, this is more than 15 feet. This was not indicated on the map. Loop one, done. Good time. Uh, right now I'm sitting seventh overall. Um, so I'm very happy with my, my 10 minute finish for loop one. We'll see what happens in about uh, 20 more loops. <laughs> so there's so many different strategies for this race. You got people that are walking anything that's flat or slight uphill. You got people that are running the downhills. You got people that are running the entire thing. You might know what our first lap pace is. Like, it's a 15 minute. Yeah, 15, 19 miles or something. So you have to do a 15 minute and 19 second mile. So for a majority of the people out here, 15 minute mile on this course is definitely doable and you can walk it. <laughs> Sierra Nevada, breakfast of champions. <laughs> lap number three has just started. There's a ton of different uh, strategies for this one. So what is your strategy? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, my strategy today at the Psychoactive is really uh, to have fun. Like, I would love to get 50K. Uh, one of the things with this is it's the rest. The rest is actually what gets people. So mm -hmm. you want to try to use the amount of time that you have. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my strategy. All right. 50K. 50K. There we go. I'm going to win another prize. You win five gold stars. World premiere. Psychoactive lap backwards. Chris, it's not going to work out good, bud. The idea on this one is to walk backwards. This is a terrible idea. Status update, still going backwards. Up this hill, a lot more difficult than originally anticipated. Should not be sweating this much. My heart rate is like 154. Here's probably not even 100. Trust me, Peter. Just murder in the back. Do a sprint here today, folks. <laughs> The entire way. Oh man. It's miserable. Thank you, sir. The first person in the entire history of humankind to run a lap backwards at Psychoactive. Amazing stuff. Unbelievable stuff, dude. 
<laughs> Ruined his race. <laughs> Alright guys, we got 20 seconds or something. And like that, we're back out. Oh my god. That was very difficult. <laughs> I'm at the end of the pack right now, walking through the rows of hemp. Look at all that stuff. We got some good footage so far. Aaron's doing good. I think there's like three more minutes on the clock. Status update. Still, still doing the same thing, yeah. There's four minutes left on the time. That was uh, my fastest attempt out. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> so what happens in between each laps is there's a, a herd of people that, that gather on the gravel and then Adam sends us out and then we go run again. So we're 13 miles in. This is the back part of the course. It's a little over one mile. This lap strategy, which I don't even know what lap this is, but this lap strategy is to go out a little bit faster with what would be considered the front pack. See sandbagging. I just wanted to see what it was like to run with you. And what you got? Miserable. <laughs> okay, so running with John. Actually, I'm like camped right beside yeah. John. And, uh, and John's a cool guy, but like, he's the people who are sporting much better than you do. Oh, I'm just going to say, they're okay? <laughs> You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong. That's oh, man. Good. It's been a lot of fun, but low-key, John's a shoe in to win this. We're side betting, and uh, our money's on John. Okay. Hey, I can't let him pass me, so he's behind me. <laughs> no. <laughs> and so now he's in front of me. Sean! He passed me! He's the rabbit for this lap. We'll see who saved energy in the legs for the sprint. Oh, he's coming to the outside. How much does he want it? Looking to the outside, there he goes! And he's on the move! He's on the move! It's a sprint finish! It's a sprint! Yeah! Yeah, that was stupid! <laughs> Why? That was two! Hey Sean, I beat him! Blowing off the hamstring. I beat him, Sean! <laughs> One lap! I'm 14 down, but I got him! Hey, what lap is that, Adam? That was 15. Uh, lap 15. Uh, so a little status update. How, how are you doing? I mean, because you you out of me, you, and Sean, you've led everyone except for two now, because I beat you on that one, Sean beat you on one other one, but nobody's counting, nobody's, nobody's counting. Wait, no, laps don't matter. Laps don't matter. This is, uh, this is the longest I've run in about a year. Fantastic. So, well, really you look good, good seriously. I love this format. Yeah, well, it's, awesome. it's, it's a lot of fun running with friends, so if you're ever doing something like this, get friends to do it with. Our buddy Sean is coming in. He played this one smart. Uh, and didn't unlike, somebody else. unlike us unbelievable stuff here ladies and gentlemen it does not get any better than this except for lap 17 will get slightly better <laughs> here we go we got our countdown lap 16 is leading in 10 seconds <laughs> Pro tip, if you're ever doing crazy adventures like these, get your friends to come along. We've not quite gone into the miserable, but we're getting close. Um, but it's a lot more fun when your friends are doing it with you, so. Man, our arms are getting tired.
right page. And an open page, B and J. Yeah. Definitely need some food. A little status update. I've done a marathon. 26, over 26 miles. Definitely in true Supper Club fashion. Oh, I have blown myself apart. I think I can get one more. I just gotta catch those guys. Okay, thank you. One minute, one minute. So I finished that last lap with one minute to go. So that means I have another lap in me. <laughs> this is what suffering looks like. This is pushing your body. What will you do for a hat? Where we at? Oh, come on! Great work, brother. Thank you, sir. Hey, I needed that. Yeah, good shit. Good job. Looking great, Sean. You make that? I did. About 10 seconds. If you're new to this channel, one of the things that I say quite often is I'll be happy with the results I get from the effort that I put in. Did I give it my everything? And some. Uh, yeah, and today, I'm definitely happy with the results. And like that, my psychoactive last man standing race is over. And now the fun begins. At this point in the race... Let's go, Sean. That a boy, buddy. Let's go. That a boy. You got one more, come on. This is our good friend, Chelsea Mister. She's finishing her race and running her longest distance ever. Congratulations, Chelsea. There are now less than 20 runners still going. And our good friend Sean is ready to tap. Come on, you got one more. Go out for Listen, if, if all you do is walk it. But as any good friend should do, we encourage him and he keeps going. He actually ran three extra laps. 20, 120 laps. Good job, bud. Good job. This is Drew Combs, and he kept this pace up for 35 laps. Atta boy, Captain! That's over 43 miles. Still more uh, wisdom, wisdom, I think. <laughs> At lap 30, the volunteers handed out ices. Let me out. It's a mental thing, right? This is mental. And now we're at lap 40. And this is when the heavy hitters start to really shine. After running for over 12 hours, we're now down to two runners, Brian Mister and Caleb Beatty. They're at lap 46 and 56 miles, I think is what it is. It's bonkers, but they're like keeping an incredible pace. I think right now you have to average an eight minute mile for the run. So on the clock currently is 844. It's dark. I have a light with me because we only have one left on the course and this dude is slaying it. like his pace. Is bonkers. He looks so fresh. Ladies and gentlemen, Caleb Betty, overall winner. Is anybody taking the actual photo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so we're just looking into the light. Yeah. Well, we just wrapped up. The last guy just finished. Literally. <laughs> it's crazy. Two ago, so dude. this is uh, the crazy race director of Psychoactive. Uh, just some feedback. Like, one, unbelievable event. Seriously, dude. The dude. amount of heavy hitters you had was bonkers. My, my goal was to knock everybody out before sunset. And it, it, <laughs> it's, it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> Way after sunset, I failed. They, well, they beat me. These guys were crazy. Uh, dude, bravo on this. Well, bravo to the run. I mean, dude, honestly, yeah. I'm inspired. This yeah. is awesome. A cool venue, Blackberry yeah. Ridge oh, Farms. Sure. Yeah. Opened it up for yeah. people yeah. running through wildflowers and yeah. hemp fields. Yeah. Slamming prizes everywhere. I mean, beers dude, everywhere. how many how time. many rounds of prizes did, was there? Because there was a ton. <laughs> yeah, we did four rounds of prizes. I and think, everybody kept adding more prizes yeah. to their prize swag. So, so it was a lot of fun. That. No, no, and, and the runners aren't either. No, so, no. People, uh, are, people are going home with full arms. <laughs> seriously. For sure. We're for giving sure. cases of beer away. <laughs> Homebrew beer for everybody, too, by oh, the way. Oh, for sure. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm enjoying this hammock swing. We're super close. Like, I, the camera's not going to work <laughs> out. my arms around. But it's it just, no, we're like... Uh, People yeah. are taking photos of, of us. us. Like, what are you yeah, doing? exactly. What doesn't do it? I appreciate it. Thanks for running. Me, uh, dude, two of my buddies came out and they ran the farthest that they've ever ran. I Big heard deal. that a lot of people. Big deal. Said that. Yeah, That's a lot so of people. Cool. He may be doing this next year, but you need to find, you need to sign up for Stay the tuned. Human Power Movement. Stay tuned. You have a newsletter that goes out. Right. October is. Find your summit challenge. Yes, vertical dude. challenge all month long. Yes, you can pick from Mount Mitchell. Yes. To uh, Everest, Mount, Mount Whitney, or Mount Everest. Oh yeah, you get the vertically. Yeah, and, I'm. Uh, I have been looking forward to this all yeah, year because yeah. I did the Everest last year. You crush it like in one day. Yeah. Well, it was something more than one day, but it was did a lot you of get fun. Like twenty thousand feet in one day. Yeah, I, did, I did. I did. Oh, I did. I did. Well, adios. We're gonna get out of here. Cheers, y'all. Later. <laughs>